Oh man, I love watching TikToks on my phone. <sighs> Whoa, it really got dark so quick. Huh. For a second, like when I looked, looked at, first looked at my phone, it was 5 o'clock. Now it's 8? Huh. I guess time does fly so fast when you're having fun. Well, time to head home. I don't want a bit to freak the fuck out if I'm not there. Well, I don't really feel like flying home. I'm just going to go take the bus back to Fazbear Hills. Wait, does the bus take me back to Fazbear Hills? You know what? I'm probably just going to fly home then. Just just was super lazy and just didn't really feel like flying. But maybe I could just fly home this time. What the? What was that? Hmm. Wait a minute. It feels like somebody wants to sell me something! Huh. I guess there's just nothing then. See, I told you she was on to us! Toyo Ninjago. Shit, who could this be? The police have the warrant out for your arrest. You're coming with us. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. You know it's it's you know it's past your bedtime, you know. Yeah, but our parents make an exception. Look, I don't know what you want from me. I'm innocent, bitch. Wow, she is kind of a jerk. Yeah. Hey. Huh? You seriously think throwing that can save you? <laughs> think that is going to stop me? I think not. Eh. Um, you're lucky that my dad taught me not to hit girls. Mine too. But for you, I'd make an exception. Hit. Ta. Ta. Oh, that's it. Look, miss, it didn't have to go like this. It wouldn't have if you just mind your damn business. Hit. Ta. Ugh. Damn, bitch, you're weak. Why you have to swear so much? Because I'm pissed at you. Eh. I didn't want to do this, kid, but you leave me no choice now. Stop! Stop it! It's me! It's Toyo! It's me, Frederick! Wait, Frederick? Wait, Frederick, you're this Fazbear man, and that means that that bat is... Yes, it's, it's Jenny. What the fuck were you even guys doing here in the first place? The police have a warrant out for your arrest, and we want, we were tasked in taking you in. Take me in? For what? What did I do? For violating your court-ordered court curfew. Curfew? When the fuck did I get a curfew for? Toyo Yamamoto, we have you surrounded. For what? What the fuck did I do to get a curfew? Yeah, they'll explain it to you, just... Just don't make this even harder for us, alright? This place is a fucking nightmare. Um, sorry, do you think we should talk to her? Well, yes, we just want some answers. Alright then. And besides, she wouldn't stop shutting up saying that she's innocent, bitch. Well, alright then, I guess we should probably go in and just ask her some things. Alright, Miss Ninjago, you're probably wondering why you're here. Yes, of course I'm wondering why I'm here. I was just minding my own business, and all of a sudden you guys took me in. Well, you see, we took you into custody because you, you violated your parole. Yeah, what does that even supposed to mean? See, we spawned you at like a party, so we upped up your curfew. Upped up my curfew? What the fuck does that even supposed to mean? We main day your curfew from 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And you'll be closely monitored to make sure you don't leave your house. Because we're placing you under house arrest. House arrest? What the fuck did I do to deserve house arrest? Look, I did nothing wrong. I'm innocent, bitch. Listen, we're not saying you're guilty. We're just saying that you violate your parole, so you have to pay the consequences. Uh, Miss Toyo, are you perhaps under the influence of drugs by any chance? 
I am not, but you guys seem to be, because you are high as fuck if you think that I violated my parole since I've been at home all day yesterday fucking my brother's girlfriend. So if there's any real reason for you to put me under house arrest, there's nothing you can do. And besides, whatever, show me this faker's, like, what this faker looks like. Miss, you violated your mandated curfew twice and assaulted two kids. First of all, I only did that because they were following me. They're being such stalkers. And second of all, like, I didn't even know that, I was, that my curfew was changed. Miss, we sent a letter out to you that lets you know that your curfew has been changed. The mail? Pfft, nobody reads the mail anymore. Like, what is this? Like, the 1900s? But still, where is this evidence that I was at this so-called party? Should we? Yeah, I think we should. Miss, you recognize this photo here? The fuck is that queer? Miss, that's clearly you. Oh, I know you two must be high, because I don't recognize any of those people in the photo. Like, I don't even recognize the place. I don't even recognize going to any parties. I've been home all day yesterday, just, just chilling around, just being a, a huge dick to my brother. Miss, there is no denying that that isn't you. Like, it's clearly you. The face, the hair, the jacket, everything. That is clearly you. And there is no denying it. So, you have to pay the consequences for your actions. So we're placing you under house arrest, and you cannot leave the York mansion at all. Well, that's bullshit. I have work to do. We contacted your boss, and he terminated your job. What? We contacted your boss, let him know everything, and he terminated your job position. You motherfucker! Eh, eh, eh. So what are you in here for? Nothing. Nothing. At all. Miss Toyo, your father's here to get you. Father, what are you talking about? My father's dead. Toyo? We need to talk on the way home. So are you going to talk to me or anything? Yes, Toyo. Yes. What did you do? I didn't do anything a little bit. Like, like they claimed that I went to a party and violated my mandate curfew, but I didn't. Like, I don't even remember going to a party and probably shooting dope. Like, seriously, do you believe me a little bit? I believe you. So you're not mad at me? Mad? You think I'm mad at you? Ha ha ha. I am pissed at you. First, you attacked Frederick and his friend, and then you assaulted a police officer. How am I not supposed to be mad at you for that? And plus, how is he even supposed to have my reputation? Like, the people already t is already talking negative about me. And yeah, you seem to make my life way more difficult than it already is. Look, a little bit, I'm sorry. Well, sorry isn't going to help it. I spent months trying to make you a better person. I spent all my energy trying to teach you all the things I know in order to help you. But th is that really worth it? I saw potential in you and your brother to be more than just delinquents. I saw you as heroes, and yet, and now, because of what you did, you're at the point of no return. Because it seems that everything that I tell you, everything that I teach you, doesn't seem to be going through your head. I'm just going to wait until you're 18, and you can move out and do whatever fuck up shit you want, and probably do a lot of bad things. I, I just don't care anymore. I, I'm not going to teach you anything anymore. It doesn't seem that you need help. Lol bit, I want to be a good person. So do I. I want you to be a good person too, but... But you cannot be a good person if you, if you don't learn from what you do. You don't learn from all your mistakes. You don't... You don't listen to me. You don't talk to me. You don't do anything. Like, when have you even called me dad? Look, you're brother's going through a lot with the breakup and anything, and... 
So if you please think about others before yourself, that'd be nice. Because it seems that the only person that you seem to care about is yourself. And that's alright. I'm just not going to do anything about it anymore. I'm not going to help you. Nothing. Have fun being a, being a terrorist when you're older. Oh, but maybe you're right. Maybe I am irredeemable. Maybe I am just a monster. Toyo, I didn't say you were a monster. But you interpreted it that I was. Yes, I am a monster. For years, I always saw myself as different from the other kids and growing up less fortunate than all those around me and mom and dad did everything in their power and ability to give me and my brother try and make our lives a lot easier. I was born with a weak immune system and tons of other behavioral disorders. And then when Springtrap gave me these powers, I never felt so alive. But then you came in. You helped me make, made me feel sort of normal again. And then earlier this month, now I'm back to where I was in the beginning. Broke, scared, Alone and retarded. Toyo, you are none of those things. You're strong, independent, and kind. And I'm not though. I just want to be normal again. To not have these powers. To not be so... So much like a monster. Toyo, you are unique and special. If it wasn't for you, like the city would have been destroyed if not the world or the entire multiverse could have been destroyed if it were not for you. Toyo, look at me. You have grown so far since we first met and I think you can be better. You can improve yourself. You can be a better person. But first, we need to help you. I want to help you. Everything is going to be alright. Everything is going to be alright, Toyo. And I promise you, Toyo, everything is going to be better. You just gotta feel the sunshine. It'll brighten up your day. Even though that sometimes you feel like you want to run away. Reach out for the sunshine, forget about the rain, you gotta think about the good times, and they'll come back one day. Thank you so much, Dad. No problems, daughter. No problem. Hmm. It seems that Camille's idea actually did work. Yeah, exactly. Now, we gotta ruin the, the boy's life. Yes. This is what they get for locking up Treasury Jensen. Yes. Our business partner will be pleased about this. <laughs>